Well, hello everybody. This is Ken Kreshka again. Got some more typewriter thoughts. Today I thought we could do something a little fun. Um, I know some of this isn't typewriter, some of this is rubber stamp. But, you know, back in the day people used to put their letters on little rubber stamps and and stamp things. And, you know, when you go back, whether it be a typewriter, ribbon, or whatnot, if somebody throws out a typewriter, say, and, and you unspool the ribbon, you can kind of read the last thing that it it was typed or, or said or something. Just as this rubber stamp, the last thing it said was, Sharon and Rick, 9 1976 was the last time this thing wrote anything. It's just a, it's just a nostalgic, neat little thing, but also these stamp pads, they made rubber uh, not rubber, but roller ink, refill ink. And, you know, if you had some old ribbon, like in this Casio Jr., someday you might want to try just re-inking this. In here it looks kind of like a cotton tube, but where are you going to find one? However, sometimes, you now I've just kind of figured this thing out, everything you do on this I know it's on a Fried and Alcatel case, and Fried and made adding machines and things like that, So, but they didn't even put them in cases, they put them in bags, so this case is probably worth something. But this machine, everything you do, uses paper. And I've started to notice, unlike a typewriter, the spacing on here, if you can see that, it's not close. If, if this was what I was using to print out a receipt for you in a purchase of groceries, we'd be touching the wall with paper. So I'm, I'm kind of convinced Casio didn't make their money on these, these types of machines. They made it in paper. That's why the whole importance of the book probably administers to how to change servicing the paper. But this, this little note here on the bottom, it says, um, not... Sh AC power should not be taken from the common outlet with other electric appliances, such as electric typewriter and drill, etc. Which means, if I turn on this, t I'm going to use the parts typewriter for this in case something happens, but if, if, if I run this typewriter, there we go, and I'm on this adding calculator, it's supposed to interrupt each other. I think that was just a thought back in the day for whatever reason. Maybe back in the day where houses had four glass, you know, four screw in fuses and everything gang banged to one break, or maybe uh, you couldn't use these things in other rooms, but today you can put them side by side and actually have an efficient office, apparently. So that's, that's the start of my thoughts. I've got a few other things today. Uh, uh, onion skin paper. I've never typed on it, but I've sure cleaned it out of typewriters. I'm see in the date on here is uh, copyright 1936 but uh, ugh, I, I don't know I've not typed on the onion skin yet um, let me clear this off and we'll go through a few other things though just hold tight okay what we have here is my Sears Achiever now the case is not labeled so good so I put the two dots on there to indicate which side's up, because this side up is hard to read on here, and when you open it up upside down for the upteenth time, you kind of feel like, hey, <laughs> is it me or is it the case? Okay, so the thing about the Sears Achiever was that when I got it, not only was it dirty, as every typewriter always is, right? You know, you take the, the chassis out and clean it up, but this right side spool couldn't advance. The little plastic gear underneath the tang coming off of it was broken. So if you ever have a broken plastic tang on one of these things, there you go. If you ever have a broken plastic tang, don't get worried. Just file the surface smooth of where it was. And in this case, I used a stem from an aluminum rivet. I drilled through the location, sunk the aluminum rivet stem, uh, you know, to the, to the length, I t put a dab of uh, super glue up from the other side, and she works probably better than she did when she was new. So, not a big deal. Easy fix, but plastic gear. Okay. 